Do you think we'll know the president next show? The election's Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, the we're going to know. Thursday. Yeah. You think we'll know in two days? There, Did we know last time in two days? No. I I don't, I don't remember. So. But but when, they, they better. That's so ridiculous to not have it same day. That's I that's so too, insane. There are laws I, that prevent it. And I, I, I see it both ways. Like with the not the mail in ballots, they're not allowed to count them in advance. And I can imagine maybe that's intelligence you don't want to even exist, right? Like, you know, how the vote's going so far while the mm-hmm. voting's still happening. And I can also be like, yeah, but now we're fucked. Now it's nearly impossible for those votes to get counted on time. Yeah. Like we did this for most of our country's history. We're like with lower technology where like they knew by the end of the night who won. There's exceptions like 2000 where there's tight. a huge amount of races are you know, tighter than uh, they ever were. Yeah, they, they, they weren't this tight before. We used to know weeks in advance, like who was obviously going to win. Yeah. So they I think ju- it goes that's too just di- crazy to, to be like, oh, we, we might not know until five days later. It's like, well, that's fucking ridiculous. Get it together. Get it done by that night. I think we're going to know right away. I think there's two outcomes that I foresee. OK, uh, well, no shit. I no, but but but, but <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I also see two outcomes. No, hold on, Woody. He's got this on lock. Let's <laughs> let's sit our asses down and listen. <laughs> so I, I just think the only way Kamala wins, uh, Kamala wins, is if um, women show up really disproportionately and and vote um, vote for her. I think that's the only way because uh, she's she. The polls say she's behind in every single swing state. At least the average of all the polls. There's a couple of outliers, and I keep seeing stuff that he's winning the popular vote somehow. So it's it's it seems like it's a Trump slam dunk. So either it is what it looks stuff. like, and it's the Trump slam dunk, and right away we're like calling Pennsylvania, for example. Like he wins Pennsylvania, like 55, 56 percent of Pennsylvania. That's not what's going to happen. But like if he does something like that, we know right away. But if the women show up, and right away the swing states are out of play. And we're seeing like Georgia swinging back the wrong way, North Carolina swinging back the wrong way. Then we're just going to know. That's what it's going to take. Like if he, if he loses North Carolina, like Jesus, the pads shrink dramatically. I don't think he's going to lose North Carolina. I, I saw either. that the Democrats pulled a lot of advertising out of North Carolina, which is usually an admission that like, you know, our money is not best served here anymore. Like the ROI is not there. Leave this up for a, for a bit. This to me, this looks awfully realistic. Really? Trump getting Wisconsin and Michigan and Pennsylvania and North Carolina and Georgia? Yeah. Every coin flip? I I looked at the polls today. Maybe I, you know, they're they're always changing, but I I just saw him ahead everywhere. Just So if he, if let's say he loses Wisconsin and Michigan here, it looks like he still wins, right? Yes. Yeah. He needs to lose the... Wisconsin and Michigan have to go blue and they're Kamala is winning in that. I don't know what this, uh, what Zach found here, but uh, the polls that I see, I look at 538 and something else and I see Kamala winning. Uh, he's moving it around 270 win. Uh, he's winning the, the two great lake stakes, but Pennsylvania uh, is super tight. Trump is winning. I see with like a 52% chance of winning. And then a little better, like closer to 60 in North Carolina and Georgia. And I don't see anyone saying Trump's winning Nevada. So this this isn't in line with the oh, polls. He's going to rock seeing. the whole Sun Belt. They're, 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 he's, he's going right through Nevada, Utah, and Arizona. He's going to clean them up, Woody. It's it's not even going to be close. It's going to be rough. It's gonna be rough. We're going to know. You might be right. And you might be $100 soon. richer, Kyle. I, where are exciting. you seeing this 270 to win thing? Because I went to 270 to win and... It just takes every close state and calls it a toss up and doesn't make any uh, predictions. I have it's no idea. I don't. Stimulator. I, I mean, do I'm on there too. Follow this shit. Uh, the, the polls. I, I used to look at 270 to win and it frustrated me because at least on my screen, it doesn't make any calls. It This is the toss up states. Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia. All too close to call. I'm like, what the fuck is that? That's just not telling me anything. I so I don't know. Yeah, I, I saw Trump up like two to five percent in Georgia. Yeah, I think he's looking yeah. good in in Georgia and Pennsylvania right now, and North Carolina. He or at least that's what that's what I saw about, about a North week Carolina. ago, and it's been tightening in the last whatever five days. I don't know how long it's been, but uh, 
it's hard to tell. Also, all these polls are a look like 10 to 14 days in the past. And what do you make of that? If it's I been like tight- Trump's I like that Trump's doing like little viral clips and shit in the in the closing days and Kamala's kind of doing the same thing. I mean, she's doing she's doing her job, but like I think Trump and Vance doing Rogan getting probably I don't know how many millions of views it's at now. And then I, I genuinely liked his garbage man stunt. And I, I think that it's the I think the meme I think if you win the meme war, you might win the presidency. This is, is this the now? kind of poll that I hate to see. Like it basically takes every interesting race and calls it too close to call. Everything's purple. It's like, all right, so yeah. It's like I fucking could have made this. Like exactly. this isn't this isn't yeah. helpful. Yeah, have some balls, switch it around. And boom. Yeah. I'm not completely sure that Zach isn't showing us things that he clicked and manipulated himself. Yeah, I I, I don't know. That's how two seventy to win works on my computer. Yeah, I where you can it, just kind of regardless though, like like it's it's we're not gonna get to the bottom of anything from the polls. We're gonna find out in ne- next Tuesday, and it's gonna be fucking fun to watch. I I I really hope that we know right away and that it's a landslide one way or the other. I don't even care who wins. I'm afraid of both of them. I'm genuinely afraid of both hmm. of them. You don't want like, Trump like, in? I, I'm genuinely afraid of both of them and their policies, Taylor. Like, like, like I, I worry that maybe I don't like the over free her- speech I hear from Harrison Walls at all. I, I worry she'll be over her head in international affairs, and I worry that he'll maybe have some trials and put Nancy Pelosi on and a, and a guillotine or something crazy. Like, I worry that really? he might go. I don't know. I don't know what, in, in what 2016, that man's thinking. Even after he won, he's like, we're not doing anything with Hillary. It'd be bad for the country. Yeah, but that was before the last year no, that they tried spent to do it. His attorney general him. refused to follow through. You know, he, they're, they're delaying his sentencing until after in New York, all the New York shit that he was found guilty on those 40 felonies or whatever until after this election. It behooves him to cement his safety going forward uh, rather than just hoping on a four year time period. Like what, what if they sentence him to like five years of prison after his presidential term? Do you <laughs> think he's that. leaving? Do you he think wouldn't. he's leaving? He's, he's, leave last time. he's too old to serve. He, I don't know how long he's going to live. Throw in, right? They're not going to throw an 84 year or what would he be? 70 or 83. Right. By the end of it. 82. He's, I think right? I thought he was 70. Oh, he's pardoned right. by no, no, Vance. He's, he's 70. I thought can he, he, can he just pardon himself? Would he? Yes. I think he's a little untested, a, but I think he can pardon himself. What a funny system. Yes. <laughs> you can just pardon. It's, you know, I bet he pardons uh, Hunter Biden. Oh, but he, I don't think he pardoned himself on state level. That'd be so that, that becomes a tricky thing. That'd be nice thing. of him. Well, I'm, I'm sure Biden's going to pardon Hunter Biden, right? If he, he does, says he won't. That'd be a that'd be a big boy move if Donald pardoned him. I, I would. I, I, I feel could, like I could see that happen. That'd win sure. a lot of hearts. You and could minds. see Donald Trump pardoning Hunter. No. Biden. No, I could not see it. But if, he, if, if it's politically advantageous, like if if it makes him look better in his mind, he'll do it. That's what he does. He does for like everything operating. He wants to look good, and so if like that's the way the tide's turning, I wouldn't put it past him. I haven't seen Trump turn the other cheek. I haven't seen him. You know, anytime the other team takes a shot at Trump, he never is like, you know what? Let's be friends. Nope. Yeah, He's, maybe. He, I wouldn't. I, if he gets Always in, I escalate. hope he does go after a lot of the people who have been pulling this bullshit for a long like time. Like Hunter, like a tribunal, a military tribunal. Ooh, a tribunal, a triumvirate. Yeah. We get three presidents now. No, we get, no, no. We get Trump and Barron. No, and, he's going to hold hearings and a wild card, a random he's citizen. He's going to have those Saddam Hussein style <laughs> hearings. I, I, that where he's just going to call forward people and just he's going to pass judgment on them yeah. forever. I watched uh, JD Vance on Joe Rogan today. Did anybody catch any of that? Not yet. I, I just know that it happened. I some saw of it. some highlights. I, I'll be, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I, I, I didn't think Trump did a great job on there, mm-hmm. um, but I thought JD Vance in the 45 minutes of it, I just watched. He did over three hours. Um, He's a good speaker. The four, man, he came and he came off personably. He came off as a nice guy, and he told he's um, he's talking about his kids and shit. And I gotta admit, I like him. I don't mm-hmm. like like if I didn't know what his policies were, I was just like he's a likable guy. I thought he did really well. And I got to say, Trump finally did what I've been begging the campaign to do forever. And that was embrace the memes. See, if I were if I were part of the Trump team, we'd have been doing a train tour. The Trump train would have been a <laughs> literal thing. Yes. Hmm. Like um, presidents used to do this all the time. FDR did it like, like, like you'd be on the back of the train and it would stop at every stop and the people would be gathered there and you would do a rally at each stop of the train. Mm-hmm. I would have had a Trump train going across the country, even if we had to lay fucking track. But he went after after Biden in that call called Trump supporters garbage or trash or whatever. 
Trump went and got garbage force one or Trump force garbage or whatever Trump the fuck that garbage. was. He got a big ass garbage truck and, and branded it with Trump stuff and put on a garbage man suit. And he rode to his rally as a garbage man. And then he continued to wear it when he went on stage. It was hilarious. <laughs> That's kind of fun. It yeah, was I didn't hilarious. watch any of that. And he had so much makeup on that he looked, he's darker than Hex. Like, like, <laughs> like, 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 was he doing even more than usual? Because you haven't way, It was a rainy day. <laughs> so I, I'm just guessing, but it was a rainy day. Um, so I'm guessing that maybe they had to lacquer him up good so it was waterproof. It wouldn't run like Giuliani. Giuliani the hair thing. Uh, yeah, I think they slacked a, a coat of some clear on him or something. And mm-hmm. it made the, he was so dark. If you can, I would say almond. He was at almond level. <laughs> yeah. There in his, uh, in his high visibility shirt. Genuinely darker than Kamala. Like if you, if you use one of those Home Depot paint checkers, <laughs> 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 like she'd be burnt sienna and he'd be almond mocha or some shit. Like, like, he is. <laughs> Man, you're a good color swath namer. Just off the, off the this guy There paint. we go. Jeez. I mean, look at the, look at the hand. Yeah. Hands are the first thing they go they go dark, right? Like they're the most exposed at all times. Not time. here, no, but you can't Not argue him. with the evidence. He uses the, the Kyle approach to golf. Two gloves. <laughs> always, <laughs> always hidden. That's how you golf, Taylor. All the pros. Nobody know. golfs like that. <laughs> whenever, whenever you whenever you talk about this, me and all the other pros out there, we laugh at you because we know that mm-hmm. that we're not out there hot dogging it like some people. Mm-hmm. We're uh we're we're putting both our gloves on and we're giving a hundred percent. Okay. The hot dog in it. I like me and all yeah, my like <laughs> two gloves when we golf. What's your handicap down to now? Just curious. Four. Four. Okay. Damn it. I was hoping you'd say something retarded there. <laughs> this is like something easy to make fun of because no. you don't know how to golf. No, I really sharpened up my short game. That was the problem. I was always able to drive. And uh and you know, like those 125 <laughs> little chippers, like I got no issue there. I can get out of traps, but that short game was terrible. I don't know. Mm. Do you, that's what yeah. Donald Trump believes. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. that's that's his theory that of uh, exercise that. is that all human beings have like a bat. We're essentially a battery that cannot recharge. We have a finite amount of, of mm. go-go juice in us. And so exercising is counterproductive. You're just running mm-hmm. your your finite battery juices down. Save that rest Genius. during the day. Yeah. yeah. Makes People, sense to me. <laughs> yeah. That's the that's the best like way to rationalize not working out ever. Being mm-hmm. like, nope, I'm actually taking the even healthier route, actually, <laughs> <laughs> doing that. Yeah, it's always weird when you see a professional athlete <clears throat> who has a lot of promise, but clearly doesn't give a shit about the sport. There was this one guy in like, I think like the first overall pick in the NHL in like 2002. Everyone's like, oh, this guy from you know Eastern Europe, he's incredible. He's so good at hockey. You know, we just, the only problem is like he clearly doesn't have fun playing hockey at all. He doesn't enjoy it, but he has all the raw talent. And like he faded out of the league way before his time because he'd be straight up be giving interviews. I think Alexander Daigle was his name. They'd give him interviews and they'd be like, so it doesn't seem like you gave it your all. And he's like, it is, if I'm being totally honest, like I hate being here. I hate playing here. I don't like hockey. It is not something I enjoy. This is a job for me. And mm-hmm. so, yes, this oh, is my job. I'm not having fun. <laughs>